almost the fourth day of this expedition. <laughs> yeah. Now you might not call this camping, <laughs> but when you have the gear all spread out, drying out, <laughs> ooh, the tarp. Um, it certainly is. And in through the washroom there, I have hanging uh, the clothing I washed last night. And so, it, look, <laughs> this isn't exactly like getting out of a vehicle with a few things in a suitcase and hitting the hay, <laughs> meaning having to sleep, and then, you know, getting up the next day and running out the door. Um, when you're on the road, you know, running or whatever, I mean, I was so tired last night. By the end of it, I was shaking. Now, I spent a lot of time on really rough gravel um, yesterday, so that's tough. Um, sometimes the shoulders were so narrow. There was actually one point, the <laughs> my wheel furthest from the ditch left the pavement or the shoulder or whatever was there. <laughs> um, I have tipped it in the past, the stroller fell right over. Not, I wouldn't say it came close yesterday, but you know, sometimes the shoulders are that sloped that <laughs> it's inevitable it's going to tip if, if you go too far. Sometimes it was just a pause, wait for traffic and get out on the pavement. So a lot of that yesterday, so it, it takes a lot out of you. It is good to kind of come in and just reorganize yourself. Um, I also sent some emails this morning out to um, the media. I'm still hoping they'll <laughs> catch on. I know uh, Jack FM in Halifax uh, was talking about it, uh, putting almost a little ad up for me <laughs> in their community bulletin, so that's good. Um, I'm getting quite a few horns, getting some small donations. I don't expect a lot of people to be stopping and, and, and doing that uh, on the side of the road. Uh, yet some did, so that's great. Um, oh, what else do I want to say? I'm just mellow as heck. <laughs> it was a very good sleep last night. Um, it, it was. Uh, it was. <laughs> I mean, there, one of those sleeps, you know, when you're dead sleep, <laughs> you're like, Jesus, did I die last night <laughs> sometime? Because it, it uh, oh, yeah, you take it in. Well, I went about 30 kilometers yesterday. So, you know, and I mean, I'm pushing, a, that's the stroller I have. Don't know how much it weighs, but when you're pushing through gravel, there's no inertia you're pushing that weight all day. So <laughs> it's going to feel good to get more, well, as it did last night, on a sidewalk and you're just pushing along on the uh, <laughs> the pavement or concrete. Uh, something flat is, 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 oh, a treat now. So, but hey, I'm in the valley. <laughs> I made it to the Annapolis Valley. I'm excited uh, to get going to Brigadoon. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've got a lot of video to edit when I get back. Like right now, I'm not going to have time to uh, really go through what. Uh, I might post this. Um, <laughs> the intro. And they're like, oh, you copped out. You took a took a motel. <laughs> I camped out there the last couple of nights. So, it's, it, you know, I've done my part. <laughs> but um, it's, it's nice to get in and, and uh, just reorganize yourself and... I got a good breakfast that's coming up and I want to pack things. I might even take one quick little nap before I head out. If I got time, uh, check out at 11. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. So far, um, things things are dried out, looks good. Um, you know, down here, I had these all plugged in and <laughs> they're all fully charged. Uh, had my glasses to watch a little bit of the hockey game last night. I hope the Oilers won. They're, they were starting to do a good run there. 
Um, yeah, GoPro, it's all charged up. Um, I gotta fill up more on water. I'll take out my bladder <laughs> and water bladder. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a few extra bananas down there. <laughs> As you see, I just scatter everything. It looks scattered, but uh, laying everything out like this, um, of course, to dry it, you just look around and piece by piece you put together and all of a sudden you have her all packed. <laughs> yeah. So good. We're going to leave it at that. Cheers, folks. Um, what I'm going to say is Brigadoon. Brigadoon. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get there Saturday for you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to try to go as far as I can before that time and, and stir it up here in the Annapolis Valley. Have turn a few heads <laughs> uh, and then I'll come back and uh, maybe people will catch on by then just what I'm here for <laughs> cheers there look at that <laughs> quite a view of the rolling farmland just outside of Windsor <laughs> Whoa! Hey, that's me! Oh, let's see. Let's get some light. There I am. <laughs> Just along the side of the road here. The fellow in yellow. <laughs> Hello! Uh, I like to see myself when I speak. This screensaver comes on now and then on the back. Hey! Yeah, doing well. It's gonna be 24 degrees today. Um, I like this. No, I actually personally, I love it. <laughs> Beautiful scenery. I mean, really. Oh, love this farmland. Nice rolling farmland. <laughs> oh, I don't know what more to say. Got to keep moving on. <laughs> Got to make it a Brigadoon. But uh, yeah, ooh, kilometers and kilometers away from Halifax now. Actually, I'm looking over this way. I don't know if you can see them. I remember me crossing past those uh, towers away off in the distance there. Wow. <laughs> that was yesterday. <laughs> Look how far I am today. I'm on a very narrow path <laughs> going over a bridge. But I had to stop to show you this. Now the river's supposed to flow out that way, but here it is flowing inward. The tide's coming in. Some of the highest tides in the world. Oh, uh, it would have been neat to stay here and watch this from low tide to high tide, or even do a time lapse. But that, my friend, is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> you don't usually see a river going backwards. Well, sometimes you do. But uh, yeah, it's, it's got quite the flow there. <laughs> All right then. I better get off this thing. Because it's scary. <laughs> Woo! Very scary. That there is a trail. A beautiful trail. I've, I found this area. Now, look, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> those shoulders were rough. The hills up and down were rough. You're either going up or you're going down. Just wavy little camel humps. I'm going to tell you, you're looking for any spot to camp, anywhere, but they just didn't feel comfortable, some of the spots I've seen. They just didn't cut it. And I remember this when I was on the road. You just keep going and hope you find that thing you're looking for. Um, for me, it's still pretty bright out, eh? I'm gonna lean that way. Um, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know, I found that. <laughs> um, I was... Uh, I was looking to camp on the other side of this uh, 
trail in plain sight. Um, I chose instead to camp back there. Do you see me? I'm in there. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> now, if you want to talk about stealth camping, I will. <laughs> where am I? Am I in there? No. no. <laughs> you kind of have an idea where I'm heading. But, you know, stealth camping. You, you don't want people to bother you in the night, right? Or in the day or when you wake up or <laughs> any time. Um, you want to get you, get in there, get a good night's rest, get out, you know. But uh, camping along a highway, geez, especially like Wolf Ferrell every area, every square footage of that highway is taken up by somebody's property. You just can't say, I was actually looking at one point of going, hey, if I seen somebody, hey, can I camp? on your lawn <laughs> nobody was out everybody's in watching television <laughs> looking at the internet <laughs> doing something um so i couldn't even do that and i find that motels have become homes and homes have become motels <laughs> you know all of these bed and breakfasts and stuff and you'll pay i, I don't want to pay <laughs> i just want to pay it um so boy you know when you when you come in here and and do this it's it's awesome Hello. Hi. Is it beehives? What's that? Beehives? Beehives? <laughs> Just a moment. Oh, sorry. You... With my bug suit on, she thought I might be a beekeeper. My camp was hidden so well, I was just going to play it off and act like any other person out taking a walk on a nice evening. <laughs> they were just looking for a place to stay themselves because they're out on bicycles uh, moving around the countryside and their eyes caught this area as well <laughs> so yeah <laughs> say hi hi <laughs> 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 so this is what cross Canada crazy campers do <laughs> and it's a beautiful area uh, just over that uh, over there is is great yeah I got caught <laughs> sorta because I was doing this I, I wouldn't if I would have settled in they would have came in here I would have kept quiet and they wouldn't even know until I went up in the morning and said boo <laughs> so they're they're sh they're finding a nice uh, spot in there they're gonna set up some hammocks <laughs> and maybe a tent and uh, tuck their bikes into the forest. I did this so much when I was out uh, biking across Canada too. <laughs> uh, I'm in Wolfville, by, by the way. Uh, and as I was saying, you move and you move and you move along until you find a, a spot that's like, oh, this is perfect. Or you can't, you can't help it and you have to just say, look, it is time to bed down and I don't care where I am and let the night be your cover as these folks here that are about to set up they're gonna let uh, their night be their cover and it, it, friends in numbers <laughs> so I, I've, I've got friends to protect me in, in the night and they've got my protection as well so it, it works out great <laughs> but as I was about to show you <laughs> that uh, if I wasn't standing there they didn't even know I was talking like where's where's your stuff is it I ran up from Halifax where's your stuff well it's it's hidden somewhere in the woods here <laughs> and they got looking around they might have just seen a little bit of the glare can you see it yet I am tucked away right in here. <laughs> Ain't that a darling? Yeah. <laughs> and they're gonna be tucked away over on the other side. So I got neighbors for the night. <laughs> and as you see, you know, uh, the darkness will shelter you. Perfect little spot. Uh, and if you're perfectly quiet in here during the night that's it <laughs> anyways cheers folks uh happy to be in wolfville i'm gonna go up to the top here and i want to get some of the scenery as the sun's going down uh i set up a tarp you can do it so quick that you have time to just look around uh, and I do have light here if I have to stumble through the dark <laughs> if I hurt, hurt I, just, I just have to call out now <laughs> But look at this. 
<laughs> look at this glorious thing they got in Wolfville here. You know, a trail like this, just uh, like an old farmer's trail, berm, I guess. Um, the sound of the crickets. And where am I camped at for the night? <laughs> like I said, if those ladies didn't see me, I will show you exactly where I am. See that tree dead ahead? I'm in there. Now is that for stealth? Now, I've already heard many, 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 many people walking along like this, walking along the trail. I'm just, I'm just letting you be me for a second. <laughs> Let you experience it. But <laughs> there we go. There's no way they know I'm in there. <laughs> Besides those two ladies. <laughs> I hope they're safe. Let me just show you. See, there is the benefit of having a tarp you can throw down quickly, use your tent pegs, gives you time to just stop and enjoy this. This is absolutely spectacular. That's the Bay of Fundy out there. Yeah, the highest tides in the world, they say. Booyah. I think I'm in for a very nice sleep tonight. Yeah, as long as they don't chitty chat. <laughs> or uh, maybe I'll chitty chat too much, <laughs> but plenty of time, plenty of time. I am, uh, I'm well, <laughs> I'm doing quite well. You know, it's 30 kilometers today I traveled, uh, plus whatever I just did right now. <laughs> um, so I'm well on my way to Brigadoon. <sighs> maybe we'll just enjoy that. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I gotta learn to look at the lens instead of... <laughs> but absolutely gorgeous. I tell you, absolutely gorgeous. Like, uh, like it, it, was, it was a completely rough day. <laughs> a lot of rough terrain to get up and over. Um, but to have this as a reward. And sometimes that is it. Stick it out, stick it out, stick it out. Whatever you do, just stick it out, stick it out. Um, if you have a destination and you're looking for something that you want, long enough, um, it's gonna happen. <laughs> so, woo! <laughs> Ooh, let's look at that again. Thank you, Wolfville. So this is inside the tarp. And uh, I'll take a look down that way. As you see, there's lots of foot room right to the end. That's uh, eight feet long with a six foot uh, little pad on top of it of course there's my sleeping bag uh, some extra clothing this isn't that so I think there's a solar panel in here somewhere probably back there snug against the wall there it is um, there'll be a food bag in there probably there <laughs> my water my fork uh, a couple of jugs some boots and, and whatnot that's the opening out here I usually fill that in with uh, some of these bags here to get them out of the way. I just use those as a door and knocks the, uh, the wind out. Of course, I'm going to sleep. Where am I? <laughs> I'm right here. Oops. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Hi. <laughs> um, there's some lighting. The light guy, he's just off to my, my left. <laughs> my left is my arm. <laughs> um, so I'll do that. How's that too bright? Mm. Um, yeah, so look at this. This is this is just perfectly fine, perf perfect little spot here. I've got company, neighbors to keep each other safe, really, uh, and watch out for each other. As well, uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to get some good rest tonight. Just just that victory after a long hard day, it just oh, revigorates you. You know, you're you're going to be in here comfortable, sleeping, sleeping bag, tarp nice little mat down pretty good cover um quite pleased anyways i'm uh i'm not going to keep too much longer i uh, don't think there's much more to say because that's basically just it take a look around <laughs> everything's in there my tent is that 
thing right over there <laughs> um, as well. Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, bug suit. Yeah, if I'm in a tarp, you know, under the tarp, you can already see there's a mosquito going. I got you, mosquito. Can you see that? Yeah, you bugger. Um, he's trying to find his way. I'm going to kill him. Just give him a record and it. Ah, ah, he's at, at, my, at my head. So I put the... <laughs> oh. Put the bug suit up <laughs> and uh, uh, I'll sleep like this tonight and I should be good inside my sleeping bag. And I don't think I'm in an area where there's going to be slugs. So <laughs> anyways, cheers folks.